Here are the video solutions for AQA Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and this is paper 1 which is the non-calculator paper and this is the sample paper. Okay so question number 1 1 1.2 multiplied by 100. Well 100 has two zeros so what this means is we are going to be moving the decimal point to positions but to make life a little bit easier for ourselves if we add some zeros then it's going to be more obvious where this decimal point will end up. So we're moving it two positions, it's going to move to the right because we want to make the number bigger. So one, two, so that's going to be one, two, zero, point, zero, zero, zero. I added far too many zeros, but hopefully you can see that 120.0 is of course 120. Right in digits, 32,000. Well, hopefully you know that 1,000 is one with three zeros. So if 1,000 is one with three zeros and 32,000 is 32 with three zeros, with a space or a comma in between the two and the zero, or or not if you don't want to. Question number three, draw all the lines of symmetry on this shape. Well, at first glance, it looks like it's not symmetrical at all, but actually when you think about it, you realize that if you fold it down this line here, then this left-hand side, and like if you tilt your head to the side, you can see this left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. Similarly, there'll be another line of symmetry through there. So in total, there are two lines of symmetry. Work out 7.28 divided by 4. Well, if you can divide 728 by 4, 7.28 divided by 4 is no harder. Just put a decimal point on top of the bus stop as well. 7 divided by 4 is 1 with a remainder of 3. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so the answer is 1.82. For number 5, we want the range. So the range is the biggest. Take away the smallest and they appear to be in order so here it's just 16 take away 4 which is 12 so the range is 12. Work out 25% of 76. Uh, well I know from teaching many students that they will work out 10% to be 7.6 and they'll work out 5% by halving 7.6 and then adding that to two lots of 10% is far too complicated 25% is simply one quarter. So what is one quarter of 76? Well, that is 76 divided by four. Let's do a little bus stop. Seven divided by four is one with a remainder of three. 36 divided by four is nine. So the answer, 19. Question number seven, this is simply uh, a test of bid mass. Now in, the, in this question, we've got adding and we've got dividing. We need to do the dividing first, 35, divided by 5 is 7, so the question is now 15 plus 7, which is 22. Okay, for question number 8, we um, luckily enough, we the scale is 1 centimetre to 1 metre, so we want a paved area 2 by 2 in a corner, so I'll just stick it up here, so 1, 2, 1, 2, there we go, so that is, I'll put P, A for the paved area, the hedge is six meters by one meter, so there we go. One by one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is our hedge. And we want a flower bed, a circle with a radius of three. So um, if I, here is the center of the circle, radius of three, so one, two, three. There's one, one out, outer edge of it, one, two, one, two, three over here, and go up three, one, two, three and down three, one, two, three. Um, so what you should be doing is putting a compass point here, extending it to three, centi well, three centimeters, which represents the three meters, and then just do the full circle. Um, I can't really do that online uh, on screen here, so I'll just have to uh, guess. There we go, it's not the worst circle I've ever drawn, but um, if you use a pair of compasses, you'll get a perfect uh, circle, and that there is the flower bed. Um, there are a few other options available here, but it seems like a nice, easy way to do it for me. Okay, so um, the only thing we need to work out is the garden. It's £10 per square metre. Uh, now, we know the garden is 11 by 9, so 11 times by 9, so that is 99 square metres. Okay, so um, it's going to be 99 times by 10, which is 990. So we need to add 990. Uh, the 49.99 and the 62.73 so 
Let's add these together. Let's put a decimal point in line. 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus the 7 is 17, carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 11, 12, carry 1. 10, 20, 0, carry 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. So there is the total, it's 110272. It will take 48 hours of work to complete the garden and the garden must be finished in three days. So 48 divided by three, that is 16. So that means 16 hours of work need to be done per day. And if there's a gardener working eight hours per day, then how many eights go into 16? 16 divided by eight is two. So we just need two gardeners. Okay, so um, the problem here is we're dealing with centimetres and metres. We hopefully know that a metre is 100 centimetres, so therefore two metres is 200 centimetres. So if I do a quick sketch, uh, this, this is 200 centimetres. How many 50s go into 200? Well, 200 divided by 50 is 4. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 squares along this side here, and also 1, 2, 3, Four. So we've got four um, paved paving stones along one dimension and four along the other. So in total we will have four times by four, which is 16 paving stones. And that is the end of this particular test.